<laughs> Another idiotic student has stumbled into my little web, eh? The contact nerve toxin in the air should knock you out quickly enough. <laughs> Welcome. Awake already, are you? Good. This is the tomb of Sith Lord Tulak Horn, if you don't know. I've taken up residence here for now. It's dusty and full of critters, but it's home. <laughs> I may do that in time, in time. But for now, I've decided to keep you in restraint. No point in you getting strange ideas in your head and ruining my fun. No, 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 no. Let's keep things on a more civilized note, shall we? Now then, introductions are always the place to start, if I remember correctly. This other student here that I captured earlier, you should know well enough. His name is Miko. Say hello, Miko. <coughs> Poor lad. He's had a hard day. My name is Jorak Earl. I was once the head of the academy, so I'm sure you've heard of me. That's good. It's nice to still be the topic of discussion occasionally. Maybe there's a class on me. Hmm, maybe not. Anyhow, I'd like to propose that we move on to the main event. You see, I'd like to discover if you've got the pluck of an old-fashioned Sith. Most of the Drek Uthar has been passing through these days is so pathetic. Take young Miko here. I already tested him. Didn't I, Miko? I... Yes, yes, you're welcome. You see, Miko here has the cruel disposition of a Sith, but not the gumption that I'm looking for. Why then, you go free. I'll even pass on to you my own personal thesis on ancient Sith philosophy. They're based on all I've learned studying two lads, too. They'll make you a better Sith, I'm sure. The chances of you passing, however, are sadly remote. Now, now, is that any kind of attitude to take with higher education? I'm doing you a favor, really. So then, this is how it goes. I'm going to pose a moral question to you. Get it right? and I torture Miko. Get it wrong? And I torture you. Miko here is a bit weak. He probably won't be able to take much more punishment. Mind you, get too many wrong, and you'll die yourself. I don't know what you think of Miko. Maybe you don't like him. Maybe you think he deserves to be murdered. Well, here's your chance, fair enough. Well, then, any last comments before we begin, Miko? We can both survive. Attacking together. Now, now, dear lad, do you really think your friend here will answer questions wrong just to spare little you? Risking their own life? And how many correctly answered questions before you die? Hmm? No, don't be silly. You had your chance, remember? On that note, let's begin. Now then, your immediate superior amongst the Sith is an effective commander and a fine leader. He trusts you and you like him. You see an opportunity to kill him. What do you do? Then I must assume you did not know the correct answer. Sad, really, that you would do this to yourself. Ah, well. It's time for your punishment. And so we come to round two. You come across a group of humans who are threatened by dangerous animals. They plead for help, offering you a reward. 
What do you do? Well, now you're just punishing yourself. Do you really not know the answers here? At any rate, here is your punishment. Let's see. Ah, yes. You discover an aspect of the Force that gives you great power. Do you share it and strengthen the Sith as a whole? Or keep it to yourself? And here I thought this question was an easy one. Oh, well, suit yourself. Well, you did ask for this. It's for your own good. Still going? All right, then. One of your underlings has made a major mistake which makes you look bad. He's often very competent and skilled. Do you kill him or give him another chance? You're not trying to make me angry, are you? The hmm. Not that good help is easy to find. Oh, well. Here's your reward. Last question. You're about to die. Do you pass on your knowledge to your apprentice to make him stronger? Or do you use your last breath to strike at your enemies? <laughs> Such insolent students I get these days. You deserve this. And then some. I'll enjoy this one. Time for your medicine. Now, this is odd. The test is over and you're both still alive. But that's never happened before. I suppose this means you can go, Miko. We'll have to just figure out what to do with our friend here. Run along now. Or, or I could use the Force to free them. And we could kill you. Seems you didn't think of that, old man. What? Mutiny! Behave, students! I'll... That's it! Detention for all of you! Permanent detention! Yes? Yeah. Now that... After all, I can't believe that I'm alive. You saved me. You could have easily just answered those questions and let me die. Yes. I see what you mean. I've never... I mean, I've never been on that side of the fence before. It makes you think. I'd be dead if you weren't... I mean, if you were proper Sith. But you're not, are you? Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. You mean, the light side? I've never thought about that. Can you... can you even go back? I've done some... I mean, I've hurt a lot of people. There's always remorse and atonement. That's the harder path, though, boy. Think you can do that? I... I don't think the light side is for me. But maybe neither are the Sith. Maybe it's time for me to leave. <laughs> <laughs> 